Bombshell is directed by Jay Roach and stars Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman, and Margot Robbie. And this is the true story of how Gretchen Carlson at Fox News filed a lawsuit against Roger Ailes, then CEO of Fox News, and basically accused him of sexual harassment. And as more and more women came forward, including Megyn Kelly, played by Theron in the movie, Things started to heat up, and a budding new journalist played by Margot Robbie also got involved in the mix. Fox News, even if you like the channel, regardless of whatever channel it is, sexual harassment should be called out. It's not okay in any setting. So with that in mind, this one deals with Roger Ailes. And Roger Ailes was accused by like 20 plus women of this thing. So it definitely it got some traction and he was eventually fired. But that's kind of an undisputed thing. Roger Ailes was one creepy ass motherfucker. I mean, it doesn't matter what you like or don't like. And I'm sorry to keep harping on this, but he's still a really shitty person with with regard in basis of what he did. I mean, I you gotta call it out for what it is, man. Like, it's true. He did awful, awful things to the women working at Fox News during his time. And the film showcases that as well as it can. It could be more in-depth, though. It does feel a little uneven at points, but mostly it is a very fascinating look at just some stuff that goes on when left unchecked. This is somewhat similar to The Morning Show, which is also going on on Apple TV. It's got a very similar plot line in that Steve Carell's character has been accused and he's been at the network for 15 years and now suddenly it's like, what happens? What now? Like, what, what, like, how do you deal with the idea of this man doing what he has done for so long? And that way, this show is important in that way too. It's written in very much in regards to current climate and news breaks and the Me Too movement. And this movie is definitely addressing that same thing. In fact, one of the news anchors, the manager from The Morning Show, is in this movie playing Megyn Kelly's husband, which I thought was a hilarious touch. But the movie is very well made, for the most part. The performances, in particular, the three leads, terrific. Charlize Theron honestly could get a Best Actress nomination for this. She plays Megyn Kelly pretty well. The makeup team she has, in particular, is amazing. She, they actually made her look like Megyn Kelly, which is kind of phenomenal. Nicole Kidman does a great job as Gretchen Carlson. I thought she was very good. And Margot Robbie as this re new reporter, Kayla. She's also done a pretty good job. She's, she's actually got a Best Supporting Actress nomination at the Golden Globes just now. That she honestly deserves it. There's a few scenes with her in particular that were really great. One of the best surprises of the movie, though, was Kate McKinnon. I thought she was really good. She plays a more serious role, a closeted lesbian reporter at Fox News, and how she can request that because of the, of the climate. I thought that was interesting. Uh, could have been explored more, but yeah, uh, whatever. This is also directed very slickly and edited in the same way. I'm going to have to do some reading on this, but I think the same teams that did Big Short and Vice are a part of this. It would make sense because there's a very similar editing stick t technique and directional technique. Shots are cut in a similar way. Zoom in, zoom out. I, Tanya, also there's a couple of moments in there of, of, of editing per se. And it is very competent filmmaking. As a movie, it's a very good movie. It explores the idea of sexual misconduct in a workplace very well. And yes, it is deserving of accolades for its three leads. But as a film, I do think it was a bit shallow. I think it, have, it could have gone into some of the more excruciating details at points. It felt slightly surface level, kind of like a recounting of the headlines at points rather than really delving into it. And I get that they may not be, have, have even been able to do that at points because I'm pretty sure Fox News would have been like, hey, hey guys, come on now. Um, that being said, Bombshell is still a fairly solid movie. Check it out if you can, or if you want to. I mean, I know there's a lot of hate going into this movie. A lot of people are not happy with this, especially a lot of avid viewers of Fox News. Again, the movie is not saying stop watching Fox News. Keep watching it. Just keep watching it. It's just addressing one of the top levels being abused at the time, and just that part was not okay. And it wouldn't be okay anywhere if this movie wasn't taking place in like CNN, MSNBC, ABC News or anything. It'd still be a problem. So let that not hinder the viewing for you. 
I'm gonna give Bombshell an 8 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Look forward to more reviews very soon. As always, if you like this, please just subscribe. I'll see you guys at the movies.